Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to clean your camera sensor. We're going to look at how you can tell that you've got a dirty sensor. We're going to look at the equipment to use and basically how to clean up your sensor so you can get really good shots again without them little black spots annoying you. Hello guys, I am Mark Newton from the School of Photography where we teach you photography properly by professional teachers in a structured way. Now, a dirty sensor really, really annoys you. And you can tell you've got a dirty sensor because when you're looking at your pictures on screen, you see these little dark spots and that is a dirty sensor. Sometimes you even get lines and that's when dust has got on your sensor. And these are really bad things and they annoy you when you're taking pictures, but it is quite easy to clean your sensor. Now as a little disclaimer here, this tutorial is not for the faint hearted. If you've got a really expensive camera and you don't wanna risk it, then get it cleaned by a professional. Otherwise, you can have a go yourself, which is what I do, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So let's talk about the equipment that you're gonna to need to do the sensor cleaning. Well, firstly, you're gonna need one of these, which is a sensor cleaning kit. Now they come in various um, shapes and sizes. You need to get the kit that is for the size of your chip. This is a full frame sensor cleaning kit because this is a full frame camera. So you can get them for crop sensors, micro for third cameras, etc. So you need to get the cleaning kit that is the same size as your sensor within your camera. And wherever you're gonna buy these from, there are generally a guide there which tells you what camera it will fit. So just make sure you get the sensor cleaning kit for the size of your sensor. And get some of this with it, which is sensor cleaning solution or fluid. Some kits come with it already, and sometimes you have to buy it separately. It just depends on what ones you want. Now this kit here costs around 25 pounds, which ain't that bad at all. I am going to put the details to all of the equipment that I use here in the description of this video. Okay, so that's the first thing, sensor cleaning kit. The next thing you're gonna want is one of these, which is a blower bulb, okay? And that's what it does. It quite simply blows out air. This is actually a blower brush, and I've just took the brush off the top, so you can use that as well, no problem at all. Now this here, is optional, and this is a can of compressed air. We're gonna use this for the outside of the camera. We're not gonna use this for the inside, that's for sure, and I'll tell you for why in a minute. And a camera cleaning cloth, um, that's another optional thing, but I'll tell you for what we're gonna do with it in a second. So that's the equipment that you're gonna need for cleaning your sensor. Now, the first thing that you want to do, and it sounds a bit obvious, is to just make sure that your camera is clean before we go inside. And that's really simple to do, and that's why I've got the compressed air for, because this is a really good tool just to blow off all of the dust, including inside your viewfinder, and just all the way over, blow it, get all the dust off, use your cloth, wipe it down, just make sure that it's nice and clean. It sounds obvious, but it makes sense because there's no dust then on the outside of the camera so that when you take it off, it's gonna minimalize dust and stuff going inside the camera. So that's the first thing, just make sure your camera is clean on the outside. So the next thing that we have to do is go inside the camera and just blow off the dust before we start cleaning the sensor. So I'm gonna take my cap off here. Now you might well have a lens on and it's the same thing, just take your lens off so it opens up so that you can see the inside of the camera here. Now, you wanna hold the camera upside down as best as you can, and you need to blow inside to get out all of the dust that's in there. Now, if you're not sure, use one of these because it's gonna be less harmful to the camera. But I use this, and I know there's people gonna be screaming, and don't use this um, if you're not sure because you can cause some damage, but I always hold it all the way back and I just do that because it's much more powerful and it does a much better job. But like I say, if you're not sure about that, 
because the solution inside that, the liquid inside that can sometimes splurt out and go inside your camera. It's not gonna cause too much damage in this part because it's the mirror, um, but you still don't want it to happen. So that's not for the faint hearted. You can use that if you just wanna be extra careful. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to find the sensor manual cleaning mode in your camera. And before you actually go into that, you need to make sure that you've got a full battery or at least three quarters of a battery or above. And the reason for that is that once you press that setting, it locks the mirror up. And if the battery runs out as you're cleaning, that mirror is gonna come down on the swab that you're gonna use, which I'm gonna show you in a sec, and that's not gonna do you any favors, all right? So make sure that you've got a full battery or nearly a full battery before you start doing this section. If you've got a mirrorless camera, you won't need to worry about this because obviously there's not a mirror to lock up. So here we go, on my camera, I press menu and I go across to the sensor cleaning setting. I click okay, I go down to clean manually, I click okay and then it says there mirror will lock up. Then I just click OK and the mirror locks up there like that. And when the mirror's locked up, you need to blow inside that and this time with your blower brush, do not use one of these compressed air inside where the sensor is. Just don't do it. It's too much of a risk. It's too powerful. You use your blower brush for this and again, you hold it upside down and we blow in there to get rid of any dust that may be in there. Okay, that should be fine now. So now I'm gonna look directly down onto the sensor like that and clean it. And this is where you have two options. You can either do what's called a dry clean or a wet clean. The difference in them two is really simple. On one of them, you're gonna use the solution and on another one, you're not gonna use a solution. And it just all depends on how dirty your sensor is. So you can try it dry first and then try it wet if you want to, or in my case, because I know this sensor is really dirty, I'm gonna go straight in for a wet clean. So in your camera cleaning kit, you get these and these are swabs. And this is why you need to get it so it's the correct size for your sensor because the end of the swab is exactly the same size as the sensor. So I'm now gonna open this up and here it is here. And I'm gonna put some solution on it. Now this is important, you only need a few drops of this free maximum on the tip of your swab. So that's really easy to do. Obviously keep away from your camera when you're doing this. And I'm just gonna drip onto it, one drip on the end one drip in the middle and one drip at the other end. And then this is where you really need to concentrate. Now basically what you do is you put your swab on your sensor, you put a slight bit of pressure on it and you pull it all the way across in one smooth movement from one side to the other. You lift your swab off, you put it in again on the same side that you left and you do exactly the same thing going in the other direction. Okay, so it's in, across, up, in, across. And that's it, two movements, that's all you need to do. Okay, so here we go. In, slight bit of pressure, pull it across in one movement to the end. And then again, slight bit of pressure, pull it back across in one movement to the other end. Pull it out, put that down to one side, and once you've used these, that is it. Do not use it again, that's it, it's been used, it's done. Put that down. Have a quick look inside just to see if there's any smears of solution. Don't worry if there is um, a slight bit of smear, because it will dry. Imagine cleaning a window pane, you know, it does, it sort of dries itself. And if you've only put a little bit on there, you should be fine anyway and that's fine. And then you just switch the camera off and it flips the mirror down and that's your sensor cleaned. Now the best thing to do is to go outside, put the lens on it obviously, go outside, shoot into the sky. I always find that that's a pretty good 
thing to do. A nice clean blue sky is perfect. Shoot into the sky, put the pictures back onto the screen and see if there's any dots there. You, if the dots are there, they will be in the same place as they was before. That's the dirty sensor part. And if they're gone, great. That's it, you've cleaned your sensor and that's brilliant. If they've not gone, just repeat the process again. And as long as you're doing it nice and softly, um, you can do it again and it will be absolutely fine. And make sure that you check the images on a computer monitor where you can zoom right in and you can see if there's any dots left. That's the best place to view it to see if it's nice and clean. And remember, this is not for the faint hearted. Do it at your own risk, all right? And if you do it right, it's absolutely fine. Don't forget, if you wanna learn photography properly, come over to theschooloffotography.com where we teach you photography, Lightroom, Photoshop, studio lighting, all that stuff. And there's some freebies over there as well so you can try before you buy. We've been teaching for years and we are professional teachers so we know how to teach you properly. If you've liked the video, please like it and share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button, you know what to do. Doing all them things really helps us and it helps us bring you these tutorials. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.